Here's a quick little guide on using Z Library on how to get free college textbooks. In this tutorial, we're going to be providing public domain textbooks just due to the fact that they are freely available and is legal to download. Although, if you use this tool for whatever purposes, I can't control that. This library has a total of 10 million books and over 84 million articles. So, there's a ton of books. I personally use this throughout my whole years of college and so if we click on books you're gonna want to click on books and simply it's super simple you just search up the title or the author the ISBN the publisher or you can even search up the file hash the M M B md5 hash that gives you the exact file but yes yeah, really simple um, we're gonna go ahead and look up a public domain book let's see public domain books we're gonna look up just a random public domain book that we can find. So what public domain is like basically a free book. So we'll look up this book right here. And we'll see if we can find it. The picture of Dorn. Alright, there it is right there. This is a public domain book, it is legal to download. Now, taking this book as an example, um, let's say this is like a college textbook that we have to read. You can either download it in a file type of a PDF. And if there is other versions, there will be multiple versions. You gotta. That's why it's best to search it through the ISBN number. And there's also EPUB. EPUB is um, like an ebook reader. That's the file type. Um, although I do recommend the PDF form just due to the fact that it's easy. You can transfer it to your phone, and you won't need another external app like um, like another e PDF, um, another ebook reader. I don't know any of the app names, but I can leave some in the description of some that I recommend. I just don't know the name. I think it's called Calibre or something like that. But yeah, so basically, how you do it. I'm gonna download the PDF right here. Is we're gonna click it and download. That's all it is. That's how you do it right there. Boom, download. And now you got it right there. And they do have a tour version. So if you do want to download it without, like, if you're on a block school network, because they will block the site for a hundred percent. Um, I recommend downloading Tor. You can just type in Tor browser and search. And you want to do this before you go on the school network, just due to the fact they block Tor too. But once you have Tor downloaded, they can't block it. You just go to Tor. It's going to be torproject.org, and you download it for your operating system. And I already have Tor, so we're going to go to launch Tor right now. So Tor is loading right now. And we can just type in Z library in a tour. Although if you're using tour, it's gonna have you create an account. Just be heads up, so you're gonna have to use a temporary email too. So the official site is z-lib.lib.org. And once you click it, um, I have tour set up, so it automatically opens the Onion website. But it will ask you if you want to use the Onion version of the website, and you just click yes on Tor. And using Tor will allow you to download the books on a school network because they are 99% going to be this website's going to be blocked on all school networks. Um, it's just even the smaller schools they block the website from what I've been told. So now we're in a Tor basically like that, and you just click books. It's probably going to have you sign up for an account, which is pretty easy. You just type in. Once it asks that, we'll go ahead and click the plus, and I'll show you guys how the account process goes through too. So what Tor does, it, it routes your data through three different servers from around the world. So you'll have your first server, which is another country, and they all change every time you launch the browser. So. It's one of the most secure browsers there is. It does take a while to load though. I mean a while, if you can't tell already. That's only a downside of Tor. But another way around school blocks is um, a VPN. I recommend iVPN or Molvad. So that's i and then VPN or Molvad which is M-U-L-L-V-A-D and both of them are really good you can even use ProtonVPN so here we go 
Z Library asks us to sign sign in to download books, so we're gonna have to sign up for our account. It's gonna ask us for our email. We're gonna go ahead and type in temp email on Tor. This is why I recommend. I don't recommend using your personal email. In all honesty, for downloading books, just do the fact if you are downloading non-public domain books, then it is it could be illegal in your country or in your region, wherever you are. But we're going to use temp email, and we will download another public domain book just to show how it does it. We're going to make our password, and then our nickname. We're just going to put Dake, like that. All right, boom. It says success. They sent us a confirmation. We have the email verification right here. We're going to go ahead and verify it. If you're using Tor, press the bottom link. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. It is open right here. And then we press go to login page. Okay, there we go. I was looking for this page. Because last time I used Tor, it popped up this page. So you get 10 books daily limit, but really you can just create another account in all honesty. You just close Tor, open it up, and go to Z Library. But we'll go ahead and look up the book again. So it's called The Picture of Doran Gray. And then we can go ahead and click it again. We can download the PDF. Tori's going to ask us where to save the PDF right now. I'm going to press download. Save. Boom. We're going to save it to our downloads. And it's just asking us to replace it just due to the fact that it was, I had another copy there. So, top right, you can see it got downloaded. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you really want to make sure it has it's clean, you can go to virustotal.com and you can upload the file. Uh, I'm actually going to go to virustotal on the regular browser just because it's faster. So you can go to virustotal.com and you can upload the file and it's clean. You can see it's this is over 60 um, virus protectors, antivirus protectors, including the big ones like Bit, Bitdefender, um, Calm AV, ESET, Node ESET. They got Malwarebytes and McAfee and yeah. We can even scan it again, press a refresh. And it's a clean PDF so there's no viruses. It's clean guys. But yeah, that's how you download public domain books in this case. But really, you can download any of the 10 million books that they have, or even the what is it, 85 million articles that they have. That's how you use Z Library, guys, um, on the regular browser and on the Tor browser. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you can save money on books this year.